So I'd had this idea, I knew what I wanted the album to be about, then I had to go about getting contributors. How I did it was I just started to make contact with some people. And some of those initial people, um, again, I'd have to think about exactly who I contacted to begin with, but you know, some of those people became contributors. Some of those people expressed an interest in becoming a contributor, and then they dropped out. They might have even signed some paperwork, signed some agreements, and then they dropped out. And that was a recurring theme throughout the whole process, that I would contact people. Some people weren't interested to start with, that's fine. Some people were interested, but then didn't follow through with any paperwork or any commitment. Some people actually, you know, did some paperwork, did some agreements, but then, you know, I'd send a song over to them, they, they wanted to do it, and then they didn't get around to it, and it didn't happen. Other ones actually recorded a song, um, and then said, oh, you know, I'm not, not happy with my voice or something like that. So, you know, a whole range, and, and these this is all the stuff happening in the background, so I'm hoping this inspires you uh, to know that, you know, sometimes it, it can be tough, but you've got, got to keep going and got to keep going. Um, if, if it's worth pursuing, you've got to keep going and, and, and keep pursuing that thing that you actually want to uh, want to do. So I, I started to contact some contributors and it was a little bit of a snowball effect, you know. So uh, a contributor would say, well, I know so-and-so. Do you want me to connect you with them? Yes. And all of the time, obviously, I, I'm having to, you know, hear them sing or hear them play an instrument, make sure sure that they are good enough. Uh, what I try to do is explain the concept of the album because I want to align with them. For me, it wasn't about getting the most amazing musicians out there, the most amazing vocalists. That wasn't the number one priority. Now, I've got some great vocalists, I've got some great musicians, but the number one priority was getting people that this project would be right for. Um, it, I wanted this project to give them an opportunity, them an opportunity for more exposure, them an opportunity to be part of something that was a little bit bigger. I want, you know, I was interested in passionate people who had a passion and or had a talent and wanted to get it out there. Uh, sometimes we hit the right people, other times we didn't. But you know, it was a case of sort of finding those people, kind of pretty much from scratch. Uh, but it snowballed and it started. What was originally just going to be an album as in, you know, probably 11, 12 songs, 13 songs, uh, turned into then, okay, I, you know, I've got quite a bit of interest, I need to create more than an album, so two albums or a double album, and then it actually went into three albums. Uh, in the end, uh, we, what I had to do, because of, of people dropping out, I had to then keep, keep finding new people and new people, so it became a very long process and uh, certainly in hindsight, there's uh, maybe different ways of doing it. But, um, you know, it's taught me a lot. There have been lessons and I've learned a lot about myself in that process as well. But uh, the end result is, is someone where we've got a range of people, you know, male and female, different ages, all with uh, different goals, but we've all come together collectively. Another important thing for me was that this wasn't an album that was all to be recorded in professional studios. I wasn't anti that, but it was about taking what we've got. It was about taking a step. So if we had a home studio, let's use that. Let's not procrastinate. Let's not come up with all the excuses why it couldn't be done. Let's just get out there and do it. And I wanted that to inspire other people, not sort of think, oh, well, you know, this has to be something that has to be recorded in Abbey Road Studios. No, it's about just having a dream, having an idea, having a vision, getting out there and doing it. Um, and that, that is why, you know, I involve people um, working from their home studio or coming into my home studio, working collectively, people from different countries uh, with, with different skill sets, working together collectively to create something that can make a positive impact.